Are there any constituency statements? I call the Honourable Member for Forest. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I want to thank every volunteer surf lifesaver uh, who's active over the summer uh, and during the year for us in Australia. Um, surf Life Saving Australia is Australia's peak coastal water safety drowning prevention and rescue authority. It has 168,823 volunteer members and 311 affiliated surf life saving clubs. It's the largest volunteer movement of its kind in Australia. Uh, they have saved over 650,000 lives. And uh, in 2016-17, the active members uh, were involved in 10,800 rescues, 108,044 first aid treatments, and nearly 4 million preventive actions. What a fantastic amount of work for the volunteers in over 1.35 million patrol hours. This is just a massive volunteer effort right around Australia. It's a unique not-for-profit community cause, and it exists through community donations, fundraisings, corporate sponsorship and government grants. There's also 59,662 little nippers, and they've also concluded 850 helicopter missions. They save lives, they help create a great Australia and build better communities, and the people involved with these clubs are amazing people. We have over 11,500 beaches, along 36,000 kilometres of coastline. And we receive 100 million visitations in these beaches annually. It's a huge job done by, our, by Surf Life Saving Australia. And um, it, it, they are absolutely committed to reducing the, the uh, coastal drowning toll. They are involved in emergency response, and I want to mention the ones in my electorate. The Binning Up Surf Life Saving Club, the Bustleton Surf Life Saving Club, the City of Bunbury Surf Life Saving Club that was also an Australian Surf Life Saving Club of the Year a few years ago. The Dalyalup Beach Surf Life Saving Club and of course Smith's Beach Surf Life Saving Club as well. They do an extraordinary job out in my community as they do right around Australia. And I would encourage everyone to have a look at uh, the work that Surf Life Saving Australia has done, uh, the national facts around RIPs. This is the number one hazard on our coastline. Have a look at how to identify a RIP. And we know that the majority um, of young men who, uh, again, uh, are involved in drowning between 16 and 39, most are likely to drown in a RIP. So this is a very good reason for, for people to know about how to identify a RIP. And I know that these clubs will make the most of the $5,000 federal government equipment grants for their work. I thank the Honourable Member. 